Hello, my name is Nick, otherwise known as Positive Mental Attitude. I uh, thought I'd do a quick update, letting you know where I'm up to this week because a few things have happened. If you've seen the short that I posted on Friday, I have now been discharged from physiotherapy because they've taken me as far as they can. Um, uh, I'm still going in for occupational therapy in the same place, which I need badly because I still can't use my arm or my hand. But as for the physio side of things, everything that I needed, every uh, goal that I'd asked, has been ticked off. So I would just, just be going in there and doing things that I can do at home, walking, treadmill, sit or stand exercises, um, all those kind of things I can do on my own. Um, I've got a nice little program that they've put together for me that we've been doing for weeks now, so I'm used to doing that on a Friday and I would just be utilising their time which is very precious I know how long I waited for physio and I wouldn't want other people having to wait because I'm being greedy so the physio is finished I have been discharged the occupational therapy is going on which is really really tough um, you'd be surprised just how tiring it is doing hand and arm work there's a lot to work with there's a long way to go so I'm happy with that I think it's um, I'm where I should be right now so I'm good with that um, the car I've been out driving a few times um, those who follow me on Instagram I've put some pictures up of me parked up down by the beach well, overlooking the beach and overlooking the, the pier Southport just chilling I've done a couple overlooking the uh, marine lake as well looking at the boats so on days where I've been not feeling down or feeling nervous or anything like that just where I think my soul has needed a tonic that's where I've gone and it's nice just to be able to chill and watch you know life happening in the car on my own stone roses playing or something you know just like it used to be years ago so I'm feeling good over that um, I've been tired this week, I know that, I've been really tired. Um, not been able to do as many steps as I would like. Um, I think the last few Sundays I've managed to really smash the targets, so I was uh, hoping that was a regular thing, but I've been absolutely exhausted, the fatigue has really hit me. But, you know, that's it's all part of getting better, the fatigue will hit you because the kind of things that you're doing to recover takes a lot of effort whether that's physical or mental or a combination of both but yeah things are going in the right direction I will get out more and more in the car because I need to practice that I need to get stronger and um, don't feel tired after driving so I will be able to get out and do some longer trips have some adventures I'm looking forward to that um, Everton stayed up that was horrible on Sunday um, I haven't been in the game for three years despite the fact that I've got a season ticket uh, the combination of when my knee exploded playing footy um, and then there was lockdown and loads of Covid stuff my dad had his, um, his operation so I didn't want to go and catch anything so I, I passed my ticket over but I think from August onwards hopefully if you send positive vibes hopefully I'll be in a position where I'll be able to go start going more often um, and hopefully not miss any games because as much as I've hated football the last few years after seeing that on Sunday I'd have hated it but I'd love to have been there with people that I've sat with for the last 28 years I do miss them I do miss well I miss going for a pint before the game but I don't suppose that's going to happen anytime soon on account of the fact that I'm still not drinking alcohol, although you can see by my lips a little bit uh, dark. I've been drinking alcohol-free red wine. Um, that and the Bex Blue alcohol-free beer. Absolutely superb. I don't feel like I'm missing out. I can sit and watch the, ma the match or I sit and watch something on the telly and have a few glasses. And I'm not missing the alcohol at all, so yeah. I think that's, that's working in my favours. Plus, my diet is a lot better than it was. 
Um, my weight, I'm still about two and a half stone lighter than I was. Which I don't suppose is do me any harm whatsoever, even though a lot of it will have come off my legs, which I need to build up. So a lot more walking, I need to do that as well as the driving. I can't allow the driving to take over from the walking. I've got to make sure I'm doing both. Um, otherwise, I'll just I'll go backwards. Uh, with the walking, I managed to get out twice today, just for short walks. But I've done me me steps target for the day. My knee, the bad knee, does feel a little bit weak at the moment though, which is a worry. I think it's strong. It's three years ago, since almost three years ago. No, is it? No, yeah, it was December 2019, 4th of December 2019. Not that it stuck on my mind when the knee exploded. So it should be alright by now, but it still feels a bit weak when I'm walking. That might be down to the fact that I've obviously I've had the stroke in the same leg. Uh, so it's a bit worrying at times but I'll be alright the stroke leg is an absolute pain in the arse I've had cramps in it almost every day this week and last week waking up during the middle of the night with cramp in your stroke leg is absolute hell I'm having to jump out of bed and stretch it nightmare but it's because I'm drinking the uh, alcohol free wine rather than loads of alcohol free beer I'm not up and down to the toilet every five minutes so you know that's one good thing I suppose um, this week coming up have I got anything planned I've got something planned this week and I can't think what it is which means it's not remotely important so don't worry about that but for now that's where I'm up to I'm still waiting to hear back from the DVLA about having my license downgraded to automatic only. Um, the sooner they do that, the sooner I can tell me the insurance company and make sure everything is sorted off, you know, dot the I's and cross the T's. I need to do more podcast, music podcast episodes because I'm, I haven't done one in ages. Um, I had a problem with the programme, which I'm have to check now. I've had an update on the phone, so maybe that's worked. I need to sort that out and also uh, I had a couple of ideas for videos but that's going to take me getting out of the car a bit more often to different places so I need to start working out routes I also have to take my car in to uh, the local sort of Mercedes specialist to have a health check and there's a, a, summer, a pre-summer health check where they check all the uh, air conditioning and you degas from the gas the air conditioning and it seems to be a bargain so I'm going to get them to do that I'm waiting to hear back from that tomorrow probably I'll send an email over the weekend so probably go in and see them at some point and get that so it's nice and icy cold for when I go out and about um, but apart from that that's where I'm up to it is literally just work get out walk drive come back home and then veg in front of the tv and i need to stop that i need to make more podcasts more videos something just even if it's just wandering around where i live like you to see the kind of places where to go for a walk just to do something because i need to get something out of my system i think this this music thing um i've got some ideas for music videos as well um not reactions but um, talking about music that I love, the reasons behind it, sort of linked into the podcast. Um, I think there could be some decent videos in that, and also introduce some people to music that maybe they haven't heard before. I'm not saying that I'm like an absolute oracle on music, but um, I've been heavily into it for so many years, and I listen to a lot of stuff that other people don't seem to have heard before. When I say things, I'll get trying to get my daughter into some of the music I'm into. It's like. I never heard that before. All I made turned into indie and I've got these albums and songs and bands and none of them I've heard of before so it's a bit weird. But you never know, hopefully she's spreading it to her mates and you know, some of these fantastic bands might get a bit more exposure than some new fans. So I'm gonna do a little bit of stuff like that I think this week. Um let me know what you think. If you think it's a good idea, let me know. If you think it's a bloody awful idea tell me and I'll do it on a different channel I'll set up a different one and do it there instead 
Uh, but that's where I'm up to. And I just thought I'd let you know because it felt like it's been a, a really long week. And it probably hasn't really, has it? But that's it. Thanks for watching and I uh, hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.